Welcome back, WoW and Blizzard refugees. Brian here from work to game and we've got a Final Fantasy XIV news break of epic proportions for you. This is a great time to be coming back to Final Fantasy XIV and checking out this game because we've got a lot of events currently going on. Right now there is a great Moogle event that's encouraging you to pretty much do previous content, anything like PvP and more. In fact, we're going to talk a little bit more about PvP in this video towards the end. Uh, namely, there's news, but also I want to give some thoughts on it as literally I've been in queue forever and <laughs> I would love it. No, I would love nothing more if we could get way more people getting into queue for PvP so people can knock out their Garo event. And that's what the news at the end of this is going to be about as just a general reminder. But first, we've got all kinds of epic stuff coming down the lane starting on the 17th all saints wink returns this is the halloween event and it runs to november 1st why do you want to do this event well you just need to be level 15 and you're going to have the option for a mount by completing it now i love when events give out mounts personally and this is not a bad mount so to say i saw this originally right here and it's just furnishing so i was like oh man what an awesome okay furnishing so anyway for anybody who wants to put a pumpkin carriage in their yard make sure that you get uh this event knocked out on the 17th and go from there so again uh this is really great now why is this also important well we know that coming late uh late october we got vows of virtue deeds of cruelty uh this is the 5.1 patch in which that we get the new near raid we also get so much more story and more so we're going to dive into the special site and the link will be in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself what i find personally interesting overall is the name of the title vows of virtue and deeds of cruelty vows being a promise virtue being something that is good deeds being an action and cruelty obviously being something that's bad so are people vowing to do something good and then doing something bad or are they promising to do something good and ultimately actually end up inadvertently doing something bad oh man i am so excited to see where this story goes i'm not going to speculate because i don't know where you are in the story itself but you have plenty of time right now to get caught up a couple of weeks should be enough so we're obviously getting new stories uh and so i'm going to skip over the little line there at the bottom just in case uh you haven't seen or experienced the story it is that good but what do we have new challenges right now the new grand cosmos this is a dungeon it says long ago on the shore of the source so this is not a, a dungeon on the first a great palace was built by the elves the grand cosmos an edifice of such magnitude that it was said to inspire the envy in both the heavens and which it was named for and the flowers that <laughs> pervade its boundless gardens as with so many wonders the world that once was its radiance quickly faded in the wake of the flood which was one of the calamities that the game experienced just fyi we weren't around for it at that time this is pre the game starting its halls failing uh, falling silent and its throne sitting empty that is until the palace was given a new purpose when a mage claimed it as their sanctuary their only company being solace solitude and the legions of familiars bearing entrance into any those foolish enough to seek an audience it's gorgeous design like square enix man i tell you their level design <laughs> they are topping the charts what a really cool model this looks very uh siren-esque if you guys haven't seen that model before but that's just kind of how i'm looking at this model and it's got the branches and the trees and the leaves just just epically beautiful here and here's essentially a preview of what the gear set is going to be honestly it looks pretty epic for those who want to go seek out and collect the gear every new dungeon seems to come out with a set and i am very excited the gear score is not going up mind you so just keep that in mind we're still going to be at our current gear score uh, until patch 5.2 which will be sometime early next next year so new systems new game plus take a trip down memory lane and revisit previously completed quests cutscenes dialogue and battles not found in the unending journey all while keeping your current character and level Patch 5.1 includes the main scenario quest for Heavensward, Stormblood, and Shadowbringers, allowing you to relive all your favorite moments. Now, ultimately, I hope that we can use this as additional leveling. However, if it's not used that case, then I guess it's going to be for people who really want to re-experience that without having to take it on another character. And here's the New Game Plus screen that you can see and where you can start. They said after Patch 5.3, that's when we would see ARR kind of being added into the New Game Plus, because 5.3, they're going to be doing a little bit of work and getting that shortened up for, for for people who are coming on board 
So patch 5.1 is also going to include fellowships. This is going to be basically a thousand player group. You can have up to 10 fellowships on your data center and you can also use them to announce community events, recruit for raids and dungeons and more. Honestly, it just seems like a really epic system. I'm surprised this isn't a part of the free company or the link shell system, but yet it's another system altogether, but they are adding things that should be fairly interesting. And they've been talking about this. Uh, they started with the media tour and they, I think even have more plans to expand on this more. So we've seen the artwork and it's just, these guys are just the best. I love this so much. Oh, that's just actually one line <laughs> and screenshots, artwork and screenshots. So you can see here everything we pretty much just took a look at. So guys, uh, we're kind of somewhat predicting the 22nd or it could be the 29th of October, obviously running through the Halloween event, which kicks on the 17th on the 18th, we get part two of the next live letter. So October is going to be a really busy month for uh, you. If you're a final fantasy fan and if you're a wow refugee or a blizzard refugee, welcome back. We're glad to have you. Now, here's what I would like to propose because I am trying to finish off my uh, Garo event, the fatal feast. And I'm going to show you how to get started because this is going to end with patch 5.1. There are mounts, there are really cool stuff that you can get by doing this. But this ends pretty soon. So let's jump into the game itself. And let me show you what is needed. Now, as far as it goes, if you go into your achievements, you can kind of track your progress. If I go to my watch list, you can see this is the last one that I have left. I just need five more wins. And that is essentially what I'm going to be doing. I don't need to run over to the dueling circle, which is a square. We want to go talk with the disreputable priest. This is really where it takes place. If you were curious from a travel perspective, the Wolves Den Pier for PVP. You go talk to disreputable priest, then you go to your character, and you go and make sure that your character has a, <laughs> a title equipped. And I can't apparently do that. There it goes. From here. So you click on this little symbol right here next to title. And then you go in and you select one of the disreputable priests title. It doesn't matter. So I'm running black mage, but I'm playing red mage. It doesn't matter. You just need to have one of those equipped and then you need to get victories. That's what it's about. And if we can get more people flooding into the PVP, then that will ultimately help overall. Why is this an issue? Well, I love PVP and it's okay if you don't. I, I completely get it, but I'm just speaking, especially from like a WoW refugee perspective. I know a lot of people enjoy PVP in those games. I am one of those. Destiny has always been my PVP game. It's always been my go-to. And I was actually sitting down trying to record some footage of a PVP match. And after 30 minutes in queue, ultimately it's just time to give up. Now, obviously time varies, but just yesterday when I was playing, there was a five to 10 minute gap between matches. And hopefully we can start to see them make giant improvements. Here's where I get ultimately frustrated. If we go to our duty finder list, if we go to our PVP, you've got rival wings. It's a game type. You got frontline. It's another game type. You got wolves den. It's a game type. You got custom matches, which is great that they've added, by the way. Uh, if you guys are curious uh, about checking out the feast, but you're nervous because you don't want to just get wrecked. You don't know what to do. Well, honestly, maybe get together with a couple people, form your own custom match and have fun and then you know you can kind of play around with it honestly what i'd completely recommend if you do decide to do custom matches make a rule where you don't take healers and see how much fun it can be it's truly fun and i i don't want to hate on healers i just think that by adding the healer into the mix especially with a four person group ultimately it all comes down to the healer <laughs> there's a lot of pressure on the healer for it i think that's one of the reasons why q times are so long anyway but beyond that, I think you have a lot of things that kind of divide up a small base. Ultimately, hopefully we'll see more cross data center matching as a part of PVP. Yoshi P's talked about that in the past. Hopefully we'll get to see them uh, kind of refine the rule sets. We know 5.1, which we just talked about, is including some PVP updates, is including an update, I guess, to essentially front lines. Uh, maybe we'll get another game type and you can see here it has a map and a game type. I, I really... <laughs> I really actually enjoy the PvP in this game. I find it uh, PvP, especially when it breaks down between the PvE and the PvP. When you don't have, when you're done running the same dungeon, PvP is always different, and it's something that's very sustainable. And I really, really, really wish that we would see it do more in that regards. Now you can see here with a Moogle symbol, that means you're going to get those treasure trove rewards. That's a part of the event that's going on up till 5.1. So if you want to really maximize your time, I think one of the things you can do easily is jump into PvP have some fun, gather some seals, get yourself some new mounts, and more. 
Anyway, this has kind of been a fun little news break. Again, welcome back to anybody who is coming back to Final Fantasy XIV after a break. Uh, so, and, and especially in all the lights of the different things that are going on, which we're not going to talk about here because we've already covered it in plenty of other videos. Check out those videos if you want to know more of our thoughts on those things. Let us know if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any comments, concerns. We're here for you. We hopefully make your uh, enjoyment of MMOs a, a pleasurable experience to be had. But anyway, for Work to Game, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.